Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, right now I'm going to show you how we can partition our hard drive. If you open up your uh, my computer, you'll see that most of the time you're only going to have one local disk, one hard drive. So I'm going to show you how we can partition this to make two or three or more partitions off of your hard drive. Now, there's many different reasons why you might want to do this. Maybe you're installing an operating system. Maybe you're making a partition primarily for backups or games or certain files. Maybe you want to have a secure partition or a shared partition over a network. Whatever your reason may be, this is how you're going to need to do it. First, you're going to need to change your boot order so that you're booting from your CD. Then, you're going to need to uh, download and burn gpartition to a CD. Once you have that done, insert your CD into your optical drive. And now we can boot from it. So simply restart. And it's going to auto boot from this CD, so all you have to do is wait. Alright, so we're going to have the menu pop up right here. So just uh, hit enter to select the first option. This can take a while depending on your uh, CD-ROM read and write speed. So the first thing you're going to have to do is select what kind of keyboard you have. So just hit enter on this if you have the default keyboard. Type FR if you have a French keyboard or any of these other options that may look familiar to you. Right after that, it's going to prompt us to select our language. So just put 33 if you're English. Simply hit 33 and press enter. Alright, so once this is all loaded, you'll see that we have the main partition right here. So we're going to split this. To split this, select it. And then click Resize Move. Now we can drag this. I'm going to partition it pretty much halfway. There. Now we click Move Resize. Now we can click apply and this will split the hard drive into two partitions. Now this is not 100% safe, like there's always a small chance that something could go wrong. So it's always best to back up any information on your hard drive that you might want to keep because there's a, like I said, always a small chance you could lose this. But I've done this a lot of times and nothing bad has ever happened. So anyway, you have the option to go cancel or apply. This can take a while depending on how big your hard drive is. So once this is done, you can click close. Alright, the next thing I'm going to have you do is select your unallocated space. Right click it, select a new. Call this an extended partition, click add. Now you'll see under your new partition, you have some unallocated space. Right click this, select new. Have it a logical partition. And right click it and call it NTFS if you're using Windows XP. If you're win using Windows 98, you might want to use FAT32. But anyway, NTFS is good for most cases. Click add. Now you're going to need to apply this. Once that's done, you can click close. 
So now you have two partitions all set up. So when you reboot, your new partition should automatically be labeled. Now if you came back in here and you wanted to, uh, say, remove uh, your new your partition you made, you can simply select your uh, You can select your partition and click delete. And then where uh, your extended partition is, you can delete that as well. Then you can select your main partition and move resize. Drag this all the way out. Select move resize and then click apply. But I'm not going to be doing that right now. Alright, so with everything done, you can close this and click the exit button. You're going to want to eject and reboot. The CD will come out, remove it, click OK. Now you'll reboot. So at this point here, you're going to have to hit Control D if it prompts you to, and then enter. At this point here, you can go into your BIOS and change your uh, your settings for your boot priority. You can put your CD back down below your hard drive if you want. This can just uh, help. Because that could cause problems in the future. Alright, so now it's going to uh, do a quick uh, file check. Just to make sure that nothing has gone wrong. And once it's done that, it'll reboot. You don't necessarily have to do the disk check, which I had just skipped it. But this can ensure that you don't have any errors, and it'll give you the option to repair them if you do. I've never had any errors from that. There you go. Now you might have to uh, manually name this E, but your mind automatically assigned it an E partition. If uh, you only see your C still, one thing you might have to do is right click my computer, select manage, go to disk management, and this is on your main hard drive, unallocated space probably. So you can right click this, and uh, you can change drive letter and paths, and give it an E. But uh, if you did it the way I just showed you, you shouldn't have to rename this. That's pretty much it. There are other ways you can create a partition. You can use uh, Partition Magic, but I believe that's a $60 product. Uh, you can use your Windows XP install CD in some cases, and uh, you can edit your partitions in there, I believe. Another option would be to use a Linux Live CD, uh, and they might have something similar to Gpartition on that, but I've just found Gpartition to be the cheapest and most straightforward option. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please comment and rate, and if you want to see more tutorials in the future, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.